Hi chefs, welcome back to Close Kitchen and for the new subscribers, welcome. Today I will be cooking some tasty falling off the bones barbecue ribs in my slow cooker. So let's see what ingredients I will use. I have my slab of ribs which I got on 65% off on the 4th of July weekend for 4 20 I've placed my ribs in a large bowl and I'm submerging them with some room temperature water as well as one cup of distilled white vinegar and I'm going to allow them to soak for about 16 minutes. In the meantime, I have half of an onion, a handful of fresh parsley, and also six to seven green onions, and a small bunch of fresh thyme. And I'm going to chop all my vegetables and set them aside. I grabbed a small bowl for my rub and I'm going to add some seasoning salt to cover the bottom of my bowl as well as some garlic powder, some paprika, some obe seasoning, some dry parsley, some basil, as well as some dry Italian seasoning. I'm lightly sprinkling a small amount of cumin powder, then I'm going to mix all my ingredients together. I'm adding some minced garlic and I'm going to mix it evenly with the rest of my dry seasoning. I'm also adding some dry green seasoning and spreading it evenly with the rest of my seasoning. I'm stirring in some soy sauce a little bit at a time, just enough to form a paste. I'm adding one teaspoon of minced ginger. And I'm also adding one teaspoon of smoke sauce. I have rinsed off my ribs thoroughly, so now they are ready to be seasoned. I'm adding my wet rub, one teaspoon at a time, onto my ribs. I am using my fingertips to rub and spread it on both sides of my ribs. Next, I'm adding the chopped celery, the chopped green onions, as well as half of the chopped onion. Then I'm going to rub those vegetables 
onto both sides of my ribs. Once I'm done, I'm going to place my covered bowl into the refrigerator for one hour. At about 40 minutes, I'm going to start preheating my slow cooker on high. My ribs have finally infused the seasoning and spices. So for my next step, I am placing them into the preheated crock pot. I have decided to add smaller pieces of ribs instead of big sets of ribs. I'm adding the remaining marinade as well as the leftover chopped onion and parsley. I'm locking my lid and I'm setting my timer for 2 hours. At 1 hour of cooking, I'm giving my ribs a quick stir. It's a beautiful night. I see the skyline, my dreams come alive. Don't need you by my side. I'm also adding 3 cups of water and I'm going to continue to cook it for another hour on high. After one hour, I noticed that I had a lot of sauce, including the fat from my ribs. So I used my soup spatula to remove most of it, and I left just enough to cover the bottom of my pot. I'm checking one of my ribs to make sure that my meat is tender. I'm adding an extra 30 minutes to my timer and I'm also reducing my heat to medium. After 15 minutes of cooking, I'm going to add some sweetness to my ribs. I'm going to add one cup of brown sugar as well as one tablespoon of honey. Look at that chefs the meat is practically falling off the bone yes at about 27 minutes i'm adding my honey barbecue sauce and i love lots and lots of barbecue sauce on my ribs and y'all know i have to have some hot sauce so i'm also adding half a teaspoon of hot sauce to my sauce I'm making sure to spread the barbecue sauce as well as the hot sauce evenly throughout the ribs. I'm going to cover my pot and allow my ribs to continue cooking. My ribs are finally done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And as always, keep cooking chefs.
Bye.